I don't believe it. Why should anyone believe you? What I didn't hear in that was an apology. I don't think an apology is owed. Amid the storm of congressional outrage and accusations, there he sat serene as a saint, IRS Commissioner John Koskinen. If you have any evidence of that, I'd be happy to see it. I asked a question. And I answered it. Throwing jabs and making jokes. I did not say I would provide you emails that disappeared. If you have a magical way for me to do that, I'd be happy to know about it. The White House could not have picked a better brawler. Koskinen was trained in physics at Duke and law at Yale. He worked for a New York mayor, a Connecticut senator, and was deputy mayor of Washington, D.C. during a financial crisis. What he likes most, however, are seemingly lost causes. He helped bring the World Cup to the U.S. in 94, when many Americans had never watched a match. President Clinton tasked him with saving the nation's computers from what was feared would be a Y2K meltdown. I expect we will experience no major national breakdowns. He headed Freddie Mac when its troubles were spinning out of control. Quite frankly, we asked for all the emails. You're going to get hundreds of thousands of pages no, no. of irrelevant documents. No, and right. now with the IRS under heavy fire, Koskinen is once again in the middle of the fray. And to say that this is the most corrupt IRS in history, ignores a lot of history, and seems to me, again, is a classic overreaction to a serious problem, which we are dealing with seriously. Koskinen delivers shattering news as calmly as if discussing the weather. Ask about the computer in which all those emails were lost. Do you know where the actual hard drive is that crashed in 2011? Yeah, I'm advised the actual hard drive, after it was determined that it was dysfunctional and that with experts no emails could be retrieved, was recycled and destroyed in the normal process. This was. So was it physically destroyed? Uh, that's my understanding. To interrogators, he seems maddeningly unflappable. You've heard the phrase spoliation of evidence, haven't you? I uh, can't recall ever hearing. It's true in administrative hearings, civil hearings, criminal hearings. I practiced law once 45 years ago, gave it up for Lent one year, never went back. When pressed enough, Koskinen hits back hard and fast. For example, when asked why his agency did not better protect those lost records. Isn't that, in fact, a priority that should have allowed for full retention? If we had the right resources, there'd be a lot of priorities we'd have. Or when asked why he lacks evidence of Division Chief Lois Lerner's actions from some years back. I have no evidence whether she beat her dog, whether she beat children. I have no evidence of a whole series of things. Right. And he's That's not above giving his opinion whenever he thinks someone needs it. I have a long career. That's the first time anybody has said that you do not believe me. I'm actually I don't willing. believe you. That's fine. Part of what may make all this fine for Koskinen is his own situation. Financial disclosure papers show his personal wealth may be as high as $27 million. He's a big Democratic donor, and the soccer stadium back at his alma mater, Duke, is even named after him. So he doesn't need the job or the abuse. He just seems to <laughs> like it, John.